my name is Patrick and welcome to the Misty Studio. Um, I realized I should have put out a video four months ago and I'm going to uh, do what I should have done and show you the final uh, finalized drawing that I was working on um, last time. So it was a two feet by four feet uh, charcoal drawing on uh, absorbent ground. Uh, it was done on a panel uh, and I explained a little bit about how that panel was constructed and what I did to prepare it. Uh, so you can catch up on that, which is uh, the previous, uh, uh, previous video. How about a quick time lapse of how the last bit of the drawing process went? Um, While I was finishing up, I had a really hard time with that, that sort of light piece uh, on the hand. Uh, when I had it up on the rack and I, I was finishing up, there was just something off about it because it had been on my wall for about a half a week and I, I just couldn't stand it and I needed to do something so I picked it off the wall and, and started working with it again. Um, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, what I wasn't happy about was uh, the, the actual drawing surface the medium. It was really toothy. It was really hard to pull the charcoal back off with the vinyl eraser or even the kneaded eraser. Um, like on uh, a printmaking paper, that it's not quite as hard to do. So in the future, I probably would put, I don't know, like there's about three layers or so of absorbent crown on here. Um, one gesso, two layers of absorbent ground, at least, maybe three, as I recall. I would have done like double that, triple that, nine layers of absorbent ground, um, sanding in between, maybe it needs a, uh, the tooth, it's too much tooth, and normally I like a, a really rough paper, uh, for compressed charcoal, and that just wasn't happening, um. So I need to pay a little bit more uh, attention to how I'm prepping the surface. Now, in all fairness, the this surface was never meant for charcoal at all. It was meant for um, non-waterproof ink. Um, so I didn't actually get to do that, or I, I chose a different project. I think it would probably be okay for, for the ink project I was going to do because... Uh, it wasn't a lot of overwork stuff. It was very gestural sort of splash of the moment, not really building up on layers uh, for what I initially was was planning on the uh, doing with the panel. Um, but in the case of this charcoal, it just doesn't it just didn't work. So now that it's done, and I talked about maybe pouring some epoxy over it and giving it gloss and sort of. If I could give it like a quarter inch, I would. Now that it's like this, I probably won't. Um, and I think that's my love of charcoal, like flat matte black, like flat black, um, velvet black. I always liked that on um, print making paper, and I always sort of celebrated that. I don't know whether I want to mess with that on this. You know what I mean? Um, so let's take a look at the drawing. What do you say? Okay. So what we have here is the drawing and it came out great. Uh, that, that light spot I was talking about was, was over there. Uh, it still needs to be darker and I just pulled some up on it. I, I know I did. Um, so like the areas like this, I did want it to have some charcoal but I couldn't pull enough off of it and 
normally vinyl should just would pull enough or even you know working with the needed um, eraser should have pulled that up um, and I wasn't able to get like as crisp of white lines with with my vinyl click eraser uh, going up through through the outlines of the fingers and and, and the palm um, so I think I could benefit from a surface that was either more gessoed or that way it would have been slicker and I could have pulled it up immediately the or the charcoal wouldn't have stuck as well um, but I would have been able to pick that up and, uh, and did a more you know subtractive method like I'm used to I do like some of these like this area that happened with the charcoal this developed really nicely and so did the sides um, and then right here I'm actually okay with um, this should be a blurred edge and it, and it is it should be a hard edge and I was able to keep that uh, with the charcoal not as hard as I'd like to around here we see that we have some of that sort of like a deckledness from where the, the charcoal sort of crumbles um, I wish that could have been better um, this the thumbs a little bit too crisp on, on that side but I'm okay with it but generally I think it's a pretty good drawing um, I stepped away from charcoal for a really long time and this seems to be uh, a great success in sort of jumping back into it and, and playing with it um, I still want to do those three more but I'm on to different projects now um, let's flip back So that was the drawing. Um, hope you liked it. Hope you liked the the, the sort of two videos of, of, about this and um, the panels and observant ground. Um, in the next uh, few videos or even more videos, I'm going to be jumping into a completely different new medium that I've never tried in my entire life um, through, you know, my four years of undergrad and two years of, of grad school never did I think about doing this at all and I did a lot I did printmaking I did painting and drawing I did advanced sculptural research I did lots of stuff but what I didn't do was this and I know a few guys who dropped out of the school to do this so I hope you stay tuned next time as I you know learn something new later